Let's learn this song by Saturn 17. It's called uh, Could This Be Love? Uh, same name as the Bob Marley song, but uh, it's just a totally different song. Um, now, uh, I have not seen them play it live, so, uh, that, but I, I mentioned that because uh, it's in uh, B flat and Whenever you get like B flat or E flat, uh, you should think, oh, well, they could have detuned their guitar one half step. But I, I don't know, so we're just going to play it uh, like it's played on the recording. And uh, regardless of the tuning, uh, they're using these jazz chords, which are, they're not using open chords. So... Doesn't, it doesn't, there's no advantage to uh, D2. This is uh, B flat major seven. What I'll do is I'll show you uh, how I play it. I would play it and then uh, I'll show you some alternatives after that. So maybe like some simplifications or uh, like if you were in a band, you might not want to play it like this. How I'm going to play it is a solo guitar. It's like the rhythm. On down, down, up. I have a clean uh, sound uh, using a single coil guitar. I'm using kind of like a clean uh, f uh, Fender Deluxe type of sound. Uh, but they're uh, using a chorus effect. <laughs> that's the thing I wanted to say. Uh, so, uh, but that's what they're kind of doing. Kind of like uh, the police uh, in the 80s. Which is really a jazz sound. You could, if you were using a sim uh, amp sim, you could uh, try to find a jazz chorus uh, amp sim. Roland uh, jazz chorus would be uh, the amp. could get away with playing this with just like a B flat bar chord. Just end at the uh, end at the D. And then it goes to uh, C minor 7. Just play that with the, a lot of people play it like this. to a uh, E flat major seven. And that's uh, like, uh, I guess I, I'm not too clear whether that's the chorus or the verse, but this is how the st song starts. And I think uh, as a passing chord, after the uh, E flat major seven, uh, just at the very uh, last second, they go to uh, just a regular E flat chord. That's the passing chord though, so you can leave it out if you want. But the, the three main chords are. The second part, uh, the second main part of the song is um, so that starts out on B flat, but then we go to uh, G minor seven and then uh, C minor seven. G, the G minor 7 is the new chord there. Um, uh, and they go between these back and forth very quickly, so. 
I think there's only one other part, which is like a bridge. Yeah, the last part is just like a little uh, bridge. And uh, that's out on the C minor, something. Wow. Seven, back to the C. Does she make me want to scream? Mm -hmm. okay. So it's all minors. And I'm playing just two uh, variations of the C minor seven. Uh, the one at the eighth fret. Oh, same shape at the third fret. Then we play the C uh, minor 7 F with the A string group. And then that quickly goes back into the, um, where they're singing the same lyrics, but it goes back into uh, those first two uh, parts I showed you. Um, okay, let's uh, talk about uh, alternative ways to play. You play... Uh, E uh, B flat major seven to play at the, at the eighth fret with this shape. It's probably the easiest major seven, seven shape. Okay, uh, if you want to play like a partial, you could play um, bass. Uh, you could take this A minor shape we use in the first uh, fret and play it at uh, the 6th fret, where your index is on the 6th fret, and that you can use that as a substitute. Major 7, you can do 8th fret, uh, bar the top 4 strings. seven like this on the top four strings. Maybe easier for you. Okay, that's all about all I got to say for that one. I'm, I'm done. Thanks. Bye.